All right, so this is where I videoed the other day. It's actually a cute little spot. I like it. It's like this own, like I should put some chairs in this little shelter. It's like this really cute little shelter. The reason that it was sad, if you can see the baby, can you guys see her? So, <laughs> anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys that it was really sad the whole time because the whole time Gabby was so excited and animated and, and she was talking about how like we're going to do this again but we're waiting for Chino and Chino will be a much better, more fun ride for me and Chino will do this at this point and Chino doesn't like this and Chino did this before and Chino and it just was really sad because like, when you love your horse and you love riding your horse and you're a partnership with your horse and your horse has been off for a year and you have all the patience in the world to wait for him but then at the end of all that you still don't know if you're going to ever get to be with your horse again it's just sad like she just loves him so much and I don't even know if you guys know how much she loves Chino. Like, he is her, she loves Storm, but for riding, she loves Chino. Like, she doesn't even like to ride Storm because he can be temperamental. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys what the vet said. The vet said that Chino's blood work came back all wonky, which I was expecting. If there was nothing in that blood work, I was going to be shocked. So the vet felt like maybe his liver was having issues and his liver is good and he felt like maybe um, he felt like maybe his kidney or his liver were not doing well. Uh, he suspected it was his liver and it turns out that both of his kidney and his liver are doing really well and um, pretty much everything else is out of whack and what's really bizarre is that two months ago I asked our vet to test Chino's thyroid because I was worried about his thyroid just from my own medical knowledge like and he said that they don't usually test horses with for thyroid issues because horses don't usually have thyroid issues and this vet said like it's an extra hundred dollars to test for thyroid but I think we should test it I didn't even suggest it he suggested it I said it doesn't matter like we need to know and if he ran the whole panel and didn't run the thyroid like we would always be wondering so he ran the thyroid and Chino's thyroid is out of whack so his thyroid isn't doing good and he'll likely have to take thyroid medication for the rest of his life um, but a lot of his other levels were out of whack as well his potassium sodium levels he's not managing them well which would explain to us like Chino eats a lot of salt we give salt in their diet every day because not all horses will lick a lot from like a salt lick so we give them salt in their diet and then also uh, we provide them with salt licks and Chino will devour a salt block like a regular salt block in a week like devour it sometimes in days he chews it his oh gosh there was just so much like everything that he tested was out of whack except for his kidneys and his liver um so essentially so there's his insulin test still has to come back they only Guelph only does the insulin test on Fridays or on Thursday so we won't get that test result until um, till Friday so our vet suspects that his insulin levels will come back out of whack and if he does um, then he'll probably have metabolic issues which I have been saying for three years you guys remember I'm sure I vlogged it for three years I've been saying I think Chino can't have grass I think Chino can't have grass his sensitivity to food is really wonky but our vet has never seen evidence of him our vet has never felt that Chino could have metabolic issues because he was always such a big healthy like amazing looking horse he had great muscles he was a great weight he was young he was healthy and he just felt he didn't fit the profile so he would never let us test him he would never like agree to a test so anyways our vet suspects this new vet suspects that his metabolic test will come back his insulin levels will come back elevated and if they do then that's great um, because of the thyroid he'll always have to take uh, thyroid medication but also if you're metabolic you take a thyroid medication that's a treatment so that is just hand in hand and that is the best outcome and so that's what we're hoping for we're waiting on the insulin levels and that's what we're praying for and that's what we're hoping for that's what I've always felt 
and nobody has ever believed me. Nobody has ever believed me. Like I'm not just talking vets, I'm talking everybody because Chino always looked so healthy and not metabolic. He didn't fit what a metabolic horse would look like. And so if Chino's insulin, if Chino's insulin levels don't come back elevated, then he probably has cancer. So those are the two things that we're waiting for. We're waiting to find out on Friday, we should know, but hopefully he's just metabolic and his thyroid is out of whack. Oh, the other thing was, this is a lot, you guys. So the other thing, so the reason I feel so sad is because I have felt this for so long and I've asked to have this tested for so long, but our vet didn't feel like it was warranted and he didn't feel like he said that their office doesn't test for this so we could never get a test but this vet did test for it but his he has a lot of inflammation in his system and and his his liver the reason so he's he's a little bit jaundiced and that's why our vet thought that he his liver was out of whack and the blood test showed a lot of inflammation in Chino and that can either be his liver or it can be a long-term standing infection and I've always known that Chino has inflammation. And two years ago, I found two ticks on Finn. And I said, I'd like to, and when Chino really started to like have issues two years ago, I said, I'd like to know Chino to be tested for Lyme disease. And our vet didn't want to do it because he said that their office doesn't test for Lyme disease. And he said that it, they don't treat for it. And I said, I don't understand because I have a friend, I think I even vlogged about it. I have a friend whose horse is on treatment for Lyme disease. So I didn't, so I didn't understand. Where are you? So today when the vet was telling me about the inflammation and how it's not consistent with like other diagnoses and he felt like it was a lung standing infection, I said, could it be Lyme disease? Because two years ago, I really felt like I needed to get him tested. Even Brandon said, test this horse for Lyme disease. Like Brandon's the only other person who knows the struggle, the full struggle we've been with. Like Brandon was like, I'll take care of this horse. I know what I'm doing. I'll fix him and couldn't fix him. And so when I said that to him, he said, yeah, I was just going to say that to you. I'd like to test this horse for Lyme disease. So he's sending off another test. He's getting a Lyme disease test. We're waiting for the insulin test. So. That's where we stand, you guys. I hope I made it understandable. For all of you guys, I left out a lot of it. Like, there was just so much information. I kept looking around thinking, like, I wish I had something with me so I could record this because there was just so much. There's not just those levels that I told you that were out of whack in Chino. There were other levels. There were other markers. There were other things. Uh, but his blood tests were so telling. Thankfully, he does not have... I saw some people saying that he has Cushing's. He definitely does not have Cushing's. They did, he, they did do a test for Cushing's just to double check and he, he doesn't have Cushing's. So, anyways, keep your prayers coming because... We're still not out of the woods. Chino's definitely going to be on medication probably for the rest of his life and that's okay. We can live with that and I really just want him to come back because we love him. He's an amazing horse. Like, I don't care what he can do for us in terms of riding. I care that he is such a sweet boy and I care that my kid that loves him and is so invested in him can't even ride another horse without comparing him to him and I just... I believe, I honestly believe, and I've always said that Chino is metabolic, and so I hope that that's what happens. Who knows? But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?